Academy Award winner Jamie Foxx's chart-topping 2005 album titled Unpredictable proved to be anything but. And now, just in time for the holidays, Fox is celebrating the release of his latest CD, Intuition, in stores now, and he promises it will make you move more. Jamie Foxx is with us. Great to see you. Good to see so you. great to see you. Thank you. As you are embarking on this real yeah. creative yeah. journey, yeah. this one is so much different than the second one. Yeah. What were you trying to do? Well, we made a wish list of all of our musical heroes that we want to work with, from T-Pain to T.I. to Kanye West to Lil Wayne, Dream, no, Trippie, Lots of flavors. Lots of different this, flavors, yeah, yeah. because uh, my man Breon Prescott was like, listen, if you stay the same way, mm -hmm. you won't show any growth and movement. Now, you know, I like to be on the piano and sort of, the, you know, so, so we got that. But we wanted to get people in the clubs. We wanted, you know, it's holiday season. It's time to dance a little bit. So I think we did. To me, this is the best album I've ever, I've really? ever done. It's really? the best I've ever done. How do you, done. from the standpoint that it challenged you the yeah. most? It challenged me the most. Timbaland even like stopped me one day in the studio. I said, "Do you really want to do this? Are you really about this? Or are you about your movies?" I said, "Look, listen. Music is the most important thing to me." So we did like five hours of just convers of a conversation of, of letting him know how I feel about my mm -hmm. music. And then mm -hmm. the reason I know the music is fly because we was in LA I had a listening party in LA you know how LA we invited all the critics it's like this and they were like this, like this. And, and then the next thing you know they got to I know what I mean. <laughs> and then the next thing you know we had them I said I told you because I said I know all y'all in the 47.5 percent tax bracket and living behind your gates and all that but we had them acting like they was broke as a joke and some of them actually some of them are now they got this, this session. Now and, they and, are. and now they are but but even with that seeing that happen, then I knew we had something mm, special yeah. because L.A. doesn't give it up for anybody. Mm. Then we came to New York and we've been through the you Bronx. Know. We've you been know. all over the place yeah. playing these records. So people Real like, quick, movie this, based on a true story, I read yeah. the story, I said this is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. So you were doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it like? It was incredible. Working with Robert Downey Jr., uh, uh, Joe Wright, who also... Uh, he's a genius musician yeah, who genius wants musician to play in Disney Hall. Who plays, uh, he, he's, he actually is schizophrenic. Uh, it's homeless on the on streets in L.A. Yeah. Robbie Downey Jr. character, they become friends, yeah. and so it's their journey. You know, it's a beautiful yeah. story. Yeah. Come see us when right. it comes out. I will. In the meantime, take a look at this guy. Look out, take now. Look at this guy. Take a look at this look guy. Out, look out, now. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's my stunt arms. 